Welcome to the deep dive. Today, uh, we're getting really practical diving into some construction math. Yeah, real world number. Exactly. Our mission is to figure out precisely what materials you need for, let's say, 20 cubic meters of M25 grade concrete. That's a common structural mix. Good choice. We want to turn those abstract ratios into actual tons and bags you'd order, mm. making it real for you. Mm -hmm. So the starting point uh, M25 usually uses that nominal mix ratio, right? Mm -hmm. The 1.1.2. That's the one. One part cement, one part sand, two parts coarse aggregate. Simple on the surface. Four parts total. And this is for, like, important stuff. Beams, columns. Absolutely. Serious structural elements. But here's the first uh, critical thing people often miss. Oh, yeah. What's that? You're aiming for 20 cubic meters of wet, finished concrete. But you buy the ingredients dry. Uh, okay, so why does that matter? Can't we just you know, order based on the 20? Well, no. Think about it. Dry sand, dry gravel. They have tiny air pockets, voids between the particles. Right, lots of air in there. When you add water and mix it, that water fills the voids. The total volume actually shrinks. It compresses. I see. So if you just ordered for 20 dry, you'd end up with less wet concrete. Significantly less. That's why we have to adjust. You need to calculate the required dry volume first. Okay, how do we do that? Is there a standard way? There is. It's a standard conversion factor. You multiply your target wet volume are 20 cubic meters by 1.54. 1.54. Okay, so 20 times 1.54, yeah. that's uh, 30.8 cubic meters. Exactly. 30.8 cubic meters of dry ingredients needed to get you 20 cubic meters wet. Wow. Okay. That's a huge difference. Over 50% more volume needed at the start. It is. Miss that step and you're scrambling for more materials mid-pour. Not a good situation. Definitely not. So we've got our total dry volume, 30.8 cubic meters. Now, how does the 1.1.2 ratio fit in? Now we apply it. It's one part cement, one part sand, two parts aggregate out of four total parts. Right. So cement is 14 of 30.8. Which is 7.7 .7 cubic meters. And sand is also one part. So that's another 7.7 .7 right. cubic meters. Right. And the coarse aggregate is two parts. So double that. 15.4 cubic meters. Perfect. So those are your required volumes. 7.7 .7 for cement, 7.7 .7 for sand, and 15.4 for the coarse aggregate. Okay, volume sorted. But, you know, suppliers don't usually work in cubic meters for everything, especially cement. We need weights, tons, kilograms. Exactly. And this is where it gets interesting because different materials have different densities. That 7.7 .7 cubic meters of cement weighs very differently than 7.7 .7 cubic meters of sand. Ah, density. Right. So we need those numbers. What are the typical densities we'd use? Okay, so for cement, the standard bulk density is around 1,440 kilograms per cubic meter. 1,440 kilometer on. Got it. Sand is actually heavier, typically around 1,600 kilograms per cubic meter. Oh, interesting. So denser than cement. Yep. And coarse aggregate. Uh, gravel and crushed stone, that's usually around 1,450 kilograms per cubic meter. Similar to cement, but slightly denser. Okay, 1,440 for cement, 1,600 for sand, 1,450 for aggregate. Now we can calculate the weights. Let's do it for cement. 7.7 .7 cubic meters times 1,440 kilograms per cubic meter. That comes out to 11,088 kilograms. 11 tons of cement. And if you're buying it in standard 50 kilogram bags. Uh, divide by 50. That's yeah. just over 221. So 222 bags of cement. Around 222 bags, yeah. That gives you a real sense of the scale. It really does. Okay, now sand. Same volume, 7.7 .7 cubic meters, but density is 1,600 kilogram in arrest. So 7.7 .7 times 1,600, that's 12,320 kilograms. Or 12.32 tons. See, same volume as cement, but over a ton heavier because of the density. Exactly, density matter. And finally, the coarse aggregate. We needed 15.4 cubic meters, density 450 kilobiter mm. Right, 15.4 times 1450 gives you 22,330 kilograms. So 22.33 tons of aggregate. That's a lot of gravel. That's easily a couple of large dump truck loads right there. Okay, we've got cement, sand, aggregate nailed down in bags and tons. What about the uh, the final ingredient, the water? Ah, crucial. The water amount isn't just random. It's determined by the water-cement ratio. For M25 grade concrete, that ratio is typically kept around 0.45. 0 0.45. That's a weight of water relative to weight of cement. Precisely. Weight of water divided by weight of cement. It's critical for strength and workability. Too much water weakens the concrete. Too little makes it impossible to place properly. Okay, so we know the cement weight is 11,088 kilograms. We just multiply that by 0.45. Correct. 11,088 times 0.45 equals 4,989.6 kilograms of water. Let's call it 4,990 kilograms. And since water's density is basically one kilogram per liter, 
That's almost 5,000 liters of water. Just about 5,000 liters or five cubic meters of water needed. Incredible. So let's summarize for everyone. To make just 20 cubic meters of M25 concrete, you're looking at. You need about 222 bags of cement. Right. 222 bags, then 12.32 tons of sand. Mm -hmm. And 22.33 tons of coarse aggregate. Plus nearly 5,000 liters of water. That's the recipe broken down into real world quantities. It's quite the shopping list. It really is. It moves from a simple 1.1.2 ratio to a major logistical exercise involving tons of material. Absolutely. The math has to be right. But, you know, even with all these ingredients calculated so precisely by weight and volume, here's something for you to think about. Oh, go on. Given how meticulous we've been, what's one other factor, maybe not a core material, but something like an additive or maybe an allowance for something practical that you might still need to consider for a truly successful real world pour? Something we haven't mentioned yet. Hmm. An additive or an allowance? Interesting question to ponder. We'll leave you with that thought until our next deep dive.